Hello everybody, this is Aishwarya, one of your mentors at Study MRCS and today let's talk a little bit about CVS examination. So in CVS examination, uh, which is a very commonly asked station, in fact my, my exam had a CVS station, it, the patient usually real and uh, has a scar or has a murmur. So you should be able to elicit it and do an accentuation of the murmur, a man a manual to accentuate the murmur for example asking the patient to inhale and exhale and hold and then you actually auscultate all your areas or ask the patient to bend forward and then you auscultate and left lateral and auscultate let's just quickly see what are these so when you're suspecting a mitral stenosis or a mitral regurgitation it's always better to do uh, to check the radiation so these mamas radiate towards the axilla and also make the patient go left lateral and again auscultate with the bell of your stethoscope so all these manuals the examiner is going to be looking at you and going to give you points if you're going to do this and ask him to exhale and hold his breath this is mitral stenosis or regurgitation in aortic stenosis or regurgitation, the murmurs are better heard if, the, if you ask the patient to bend down and again at expiration. Another thing is that you'll have to check for radiation. These murmurs radiate towards the carotid. So again, make sure you auscultate with the diaphragm and the bell of the stethoscope. These two manuals are mostly enough for the sake of MRCS part B because most of uh, the important and commonly asked questions involves aortic stenosis, mitral regurgitation, valve replacement and a pacemaker.